to worry. He didn't find anything. And he's not interested anymore, no matter how much I offer to pay him. Why? You'll have to ask him. I think I'll do that. Okay. So, it's not a fan and not an inside job. Who do you suspect? A dark shadow from the past. Ex-lover? A husband, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. A dark shadow from the past. Hmm. So it's not a fan and not an inside job. Who do you suspect? Aren't you supposed to know that? Usually, yes. But I've got nothing to go on. And you don't have a hunch. Maybe I do. But first, I want to know if you'll even accept my case. I'm here, aren't I? That's true, but I must know if I can trust you. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. I wish it was that simple. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Let's stop beating around the bush. How do you know Molly? Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? <sighs> huh. I, I did. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Cluck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. Well, Cluck. You played me from the start, didn't you? What exactly do you want from me? Hmm. Yeah. You played me from the start, didn't you? You played me from the start, didn't you? It wasn't my intention. I'm an old cock, Natasha. I've played too many of these games, and I've been on the losing side often enough. So, you're going to walk away? You're damn right. I don't know if it's worth it for me. Look, Sonny, money's not an issue. Oh, yeah, your fawn had already mentioned that. But unfortunately, it'll be hard to spend all that dough when I'm dead. Dead? Don't even say that. Do you have a gun? Me? Of course you, Natasha. Do you have it on you? Not at the moment. Well, let me give you some advice. Keep it with you, always. Maybe in your purse. You, you don't think they, whoever they are, would hurt me? Don't be naive, Natasha. You're right. I'll keep it with me. I don't want to scare you, but two cops snooping around can mess something like this up, even if it's just two roosters. You'll keep snooping? Thank you, Sonny. Maybe you're getting yourself into even deeper trouble with me. Thank me when this is all over. Oh, baby. The legendary chicken police back in action. Still a bit weary, but untarnished. Good work. Hmm. Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha, 
Please, come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. <laughs> mm. That's a good I line. I would understand. Oh, yeah. Woman is I understand naked. everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. Without her I'll secrets. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Look, Natasha, you know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Okay, I got some new items. I got some clues. Let's see. What did we get? We got a key. Hmm. We got a... Come to daddy, darling. Huh. Got some whisk. We got our gun. Let's see. Hmm. Natasha invited me to her weakened house to show me something. Okay, she gave me a key. The threat or... Gotcha. And then let's go look at... Who's the... um? Vilmar, here we go. We need to ask him a little bit more questions. He also worked for Natasha, but he's got the case... He's got out, he got out of the case before the ground got too hot. Anyway, he kept a piece of evidence. Hmm. All right. Anything else? This woman's aware of her chum. Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I live. Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? <gasps> You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. And otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find... Nothing but dead... men. Okay. I guess we're done, right? Yeah, we're done. Calling Boo's darling, it's kind of weird, don't you think? Says someone who calls his gun collection his harem. <laughs> Touche. I'll shut it. Good birdie. Well? Weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. <laughs> uh, these guys are having fun. Um, hmm. Well, Vilmar, what's up? So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was, uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know... I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman... You're, uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case... Maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Ah, old croakers. You're safe while I'm here. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. Let's see, what do you, what do you get here? Oh. We stepped into it, didn't we? 
How do we look at it? Of all that's furry, what kind of a list is this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Those names, all top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. Mm. Let's see. We can ask him questions now. The truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard, but he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Hmm, who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Hmm, you've got a point. We stepped into it, didn't we? That's an understatement. Belong to the upper crust. Yeah, I noticed. It's only some sex cult, if you're lucky. Hmm. Don't even go there, Marty. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Wonderful girl. Either I'm gonna kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny. I swear I've heard that before. Huh. To be honest, me too. So, Natasha invited us to her weekend house. That's either very good news or very bad news. 50%. That's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Hey! <sighs> Olivia Blackwig. Who is this woman, anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on her, anyway. Uh, more women, more trouble. You already fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover, too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway, the pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. Cool. Let's see. Take care of yourself, old bird. <laughs> You're one to talk. Okay. Let's see. Let's scan the room. I don't know what these guys are doing. Olivia. Oh, it's you. How can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? And how close am I to him? You don't beat around the bush, ma'am. Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. Wessler. <laughs> Well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Anything else? Uh-huh. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. You know, Ibn's not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit, that's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. Weekend house. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Natasha herself. Hmm. All right, let's say goodbyes. Look, please, Marty, there's no need. I guess there is. 
I know I wasn't a gentleman, and I know I should have called you, but I was young and... You don't have to explain. I wasn't waiting long for your call. I forgot about it fast. Oof. That's good to hear, I suppose. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Olivia. Marty dated Olivia for a short period of time. That's it. I don't want to know more about this. Huh. This is kind of cool. Man, the UI, everything is so well done, right? Man, this game looks so good, too. It's just so well done. And I played a lot of visual novel games. Mostly, yeah. And this one's really well done. Love it. Pretty good so far. Alright, so let's go back out. And let's go to the weekend house. Well, if there's one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. Balls to the wall. Balls to the uh, wall. This place gives me the creeps. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Shut up, Marty. Oh my. Why'd you get this cleaned? What the heck? Chicken police. Hands up. Marty, that's enough. So silly. So, this is the word. What can I say? The message is loud and clear. Yeah, what matters is who is it for and what does it mean? I can't misunderstand that if I wanted to. We'll see. Wait a second, did that bimbo put a spell on you? As you used to say, don't let it cloud your objective judgment, boss bird. Watch who you're talking to, boy. Hmm. Damn. It's not a good sign. Maybe she just lost it when she hurried into the house. Yeah, right. Do you think it belongs to Natasha? No idea. Do you think I measured her feet when I was in her room? Not sure I want to know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Should we take it? Hell no. I'll buy you one if you want. Do you mean the real cops? I'm almost certain. My Damn it. Well, thank God I have... When do you not have one? Fair point. Stop staring at it. Okay. Furry hell, Marty. Stop... S okay. Furry hell. <laughs> it's pouring outside. Anything else I can interact with? Uh... All right, Marty, let's get in. before we enter, did you bring Big Bertha? Of course. She's in the trunk. It's time to get Her Majesty out. That's what I like to hear. Marty, before we enter... Of course. It's time... That's what I... Ah, yes. Big Bertha. Let's go. Hello, my beauty. Just don't point it at me. Aw, scared? Take it easy. I swore I'm not gonna shoot you again. Very gallant of you, partner. What, are you still pissed at me? I'm happy to remind you why you got shot the first time. I get it. Just shut the fuck up already. Clawville City. It's the nothing. Uh, what was that? Ah, forget. <sighs> Flashlight. I didn't bring one. Uh, me neither. What a pair of fucking professionals. Yep. But you do have a shotgun with you. We should have shotguns for this kind of deal. Is that from an old movie? No, it's an original. Figures.
Oh no. She was lying on the floor as if she was sleeping. She looked peaceful, almost. The large pool of blood ruined the picture. Poor, delicate Deborah. Maybe you were too pure and innocent for this city. But in the end, its filth pulled you under. You know, no animal can swim in high heels. Wild gods! Fuck even! Yeah, it's her. Deborah. The girl who came to my office. I figured. But what the hell happened? Was it Natasha? Is this what you wanted us to see? No. Hmm. I mean, I don't think so, Marty. She seemed very attached to the girl, and I believed her. Furthermore, she has no motive to kill her. Natasha meant some object. Something maybe the killer wanted, too. And the poor girl was trying to protect it. Did she seem that kind of girl? She risked a lot simply by coming to see me. She would have done it for her mistress. Why is she naked? Was it sexual? I mean, there's no sign of struggle. She seems untouched. Maybe she knew her assailant. Was it a lover? This looks premeditated. So far, the messages have appeared in weird places, but this... this is a new level. It's no longer just about empty threats. Well, maybe Natasha's on her way here right now. Or she was already here and something happened to her, too. Kidnapped, or worse. Those are possibilities, but we can't wait. We don't have time for guessing. Search the house. Search everything. The room's not trashed. Whoever did this wasn't looking for the same thing we are. Or they knew exactly where to find it. Wait, what are we looking for exactly? I have no idea, but it's something important. Things like that have a way of getting noticed when you come across them. Amen to that. Hmm. Okay, let's go see. They got a phone, you got a bunch of stuff above the fireplace. This is a really nice living room. Look at this. Alright, and they got an exit. Huh. Well, let's look around first before we inspect the body. This must be Natasha's family. Yeah, wealthy. Do you think she's from the Stavonian Tsar's family? Oh, nobody could have survived that massacre. But I'm sure this family was also close to the fire. What is she doing here anyway? What, an alias? Keeping secrets, and now this case? Do you think it's all connected somehow? Let's not draw hasty conclusions, Marty. Hmm. Painting. It's an exceptionally beautiful piece. What does it depict, I wonder? I have no idea, Sonny. It's so art, Sonny? I'm scared to have an opinion. Huh. This... What is this exactly? A human. Mythical creature. Quite the cult in Iveria. The whole country's full of these statues. Does it mean anything? They say humans are the keepers of secrets and the messengers of chaos and destruction. You don't think... Let's take a closer look. Uh... Molly loved things like this. How about this one here goes missing and, uh... Don't even finish that sentence, Molly. Damn, just like in the adventure books. Rich animals are all insane. You have a point. Wait, what happened? I... Oh, did it open something? It must have, huh? Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> Is this some kind of... Yeah, it's a riddle, Marty. But it doesn't make any sense. Why use something as simple as this when a four-digit number is almost impossible? An idle whim, or the riddle has a meaning. Maybe. Four animals into four places. What does it represent? 
Think, Marty. Where did we see four animals holding something in their hands? Um... What else we got here? We got a phone. We should call the department. Anonymously, of course. Do you still remember the number? I haven't called my own workplace in years. Cretan. Of course I remember. 555-111. Is it? Since when? Since they invented the telephone. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I knew that. I was just testing you. Yeah, right. Actually, no, no, no. I don't want to call yet. The message. Here, too. Yes, but this isn't about Deborah, and wasn't meant for her. It was meant for Natasha. Obviously. What have we gotten ourselves into, Sonny? I don't know, Marty, but let's get ourselves out of it as soon as possible. I really sh Well, it's a little late for that. I would you... <laughs> yeah. There you go. Poor girl. How old was she? 20? 25? Yeah, something like that. What are we gonna do about her? Nothing. We can call the police. Anonymously, of course. Oh. Okay, anything... Purse. Anything interesting in there? Yeah, I think there is. We got a purse. I think that's it. Anything? That's it. Her cell phone? I don't think these people have cell phones. Okay, I think we're ready to call the police. I still don't know what this... Hmm. I have to come back to that. Any, like, secrets here? No. Okay. What am I dialing? I'm not dialing 911, right? <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, that doesn't work. No. What am I doing? No, no, no. Go back here. Okay. That's not bad. Hmm. Any clues? Yeah, I think that's it. Am I making a call or what? I don't know the number. Or maybe I just missed it. Unfortunately. What was it? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I was looking away. Okay, let us... Where do we want to go now? Callville. Let's go over here. I don't know, Sonny. What exactly are we doing here? Let's hope we can learn something about Natasha and Ibn by sniffing around before we visit that weekend house in Flowerville. Learn something? From Phyllis and Roy's? Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah, figures. Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox. What's up? back here so soon? Did you get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco, but we're sniffing around on a case. Who who? Are you trespassing again? Who? Us? What are you thinking? Ah, uh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, 